Hello everyone, thank you for clicking to watch this video. I wish to inform you of a new programme of support for our parishes and schools. It is called Road to Resilience. It is essentially an expansion of the support already being provided by Caritas Westminster. It is therefore a continuing response to what is being encountered as a result of the pandemic in our parishes and schools. The immediate impact of the pandemic, as we know, was that of loss. For some, it was loss of health. For others, indeed, it was loss of their lives. May they rest in peace. I wish to speak of a particular form of loss. Loss of security. Loss of income. Loss of employment. Consequently, the loss of ability to provide for one's dependence. Indeed, for many people, it involves loss of their homes. During the pandemic, our schools and parishes were well placed to assist those in need. This was done through provision of food, distribution of supermarket vouchers, reaching out to neighbours to prevent a sense of isolation, and of course through advice, prayer and encouragement. The effect of the pandemic in our parishes is continuing. In listening to you, we understand that poverty is increasing. We are now encountering those who are experiencing poverty for the first time. This adds a new dimension to their difficulty. There are those who are having difficulty in completing their benefit forms, not knowing what they're entitled to. Those who are unable to communicate digitally, which we know is important at this time. And there are those who are concerned about their immigration status and the threat of perhaps detention or deportation. It is precisely into such situations that we need to speak. The Road to Resilience program coincides with the 2020 World Day of the poor. Pope Francis, to mark this day, focuses on a character from the wisdom writings of the Old Testament called Sirach, who appealed to the people of his time, stretch out your hand to the poor. From the beginning of his pontificate, Pope Francis has been urging us to do precisely this, stretch out your hand to the poor. But Pope Francis, of course, is a realist. He continues, Structures and charity cannot be improvised. Organisation and training are needed. Structures and charity cannot be improvised. Organisation and training is needed. And this is precisely where Caritas come in. Caritas can assist parishes to identify local need, unearth difficulties that are perhaps hidden or beneath the surface, and then to formulate a strategy and a method to address the difficulties which your people are encountering. Caritas development workers and Caritas parish representatives are ready to assist to develop plans so that you can stretch out your hand to the poor. What we all have in common is the wish to do precisely that, to assist those who are in difficulty. We stretch out our hand to lift them up. Caritas are very aware that you do not have the time nor the expertise to be in the midst of every difficulty. And we are aware that every parish, every school, Every individual is unique. Our Christian mission, we know, is to evangelise. By stretching out our hands to the poor, by assisting them in all their difficulties, oppressing those because of the pandemic, we witness to our faith. And at the same time, we enrich those whom we encounter materially, and spiritually. 
it is our duty to protect and to promote the dignity of every person. We now need to address those areas which threaten to undermine anyone's sense of worth. We do it together and we do it because we are Christian. I thank you for all that you are doing. May all your endeavours bear fruit and may the Road to Resilience programme bring many blessings to your parish and your school.